Yeah, that's exactly how we started this thing. What, what did you think I was saying, sorry? Well, no, you said that up to a certain point that it's okay for Christians to find. Oh, I see. Yes, yes, I, I see you guessing that, yeah. yeah. Um, that's right. Yes, we... This is the thing about Christianity. Yeah. If you don't... Um, if you don't go outside of the Bible's direct plain words, mm. you can get into difficulty. Here's how. Say, for example, you took it in a certain way which contradicts what I've said. Yeah. Then that means we have, can have no police force. Right. Therefore, the nation collapses because we've got no means of running a civilised society. The, the thieves, scoundrels, murderers, they all have free reign in the land because yeah. nobody can do anything but return evil for good. Yeah, but, but that's actually outside of what's in the Bible because in the Bible there's only two situations you can have. Yeah. Either God is ruling or one of his, uh, one of his anointed is ruling. Okay. Or his people are in captivity, in which case it's the evil that are ruling. Okay. So those are the only two states that you find in the Bible. So what are you them. saying about um, a Christian kingdom then? That's the thing, you don't have that state in the Bible. It's only either God's ruling right. or the people are gone. So what so what are Christians to do? In a, if they if for example a bunch of Christians become so numerous they they manage to convert to the pagan kings, yeah. what should the what should the king do? Should he simply say, Well now I've read Romans. Mm. <laughs> I can't I can't any more any more require my troops to execute criminals. Mm. Or to, you know, um, cut off the hands of thieves. Yeah. Um, I can't enact laws which are, which are backed up by force anymore. Yeah. I'm a Christian king now. And my subjects are Christians. What do you do? Oh, no, but I have to say, that, what you just described there, uh, isn't a part of what's in the Bible. Because in, fair enough. Yeah, no, fair no, enough. Because what you're describing is a, a secular Christian king. Okay. Like the one where God has his, his um, either priests or bishops and he's talking to communicate directly with them. But what should we do? I mean what does this what does this king do in your view? If he's if he believes in the Bible, does he abdicate? Does he re remain remain as king and do as I would say? Slaughter the, the evildoers? Or what should he do? No, well, well, we can take the example of the apostles. Yeah. None of them managed to get into a into a high political position, did they? Okay, so just tell me what you think this king should do. He's just converted to Christianity. He's got a Bible. Yeah. Thinks this is good stuff. Yeah. He's been. You've shown him Romans. Right. He was about to, in fact, go on on horseback to launch a, a kind of raid against their against the enemies who are, are stealing um, the wheat and the corn from his uh, subjects. But he's just read this, and you've shown him. So he's just he's sheathed his sword, and he's asking you, what should he do? Yeah, but then we have the problem that when it came to the children of Israel, they were given orders how to deal with the enemies. Yeah. Some they were to wipe out, yeah. some they were to defend yeah. themselves against. Yeah. But this king that you're talking about, to be in line with what's in the Bible, yeah. you'd have to have a covenant with God. You should, yeah, right, okay, so we know he doesn't. Yes. He's just converted, hasn't he? Yes, yeah, so that's where the... So what, what's your advice to him? Hmm? Well, you know, you, I'm asking you to give him direct advice. You're telling me about what he must do, the covenant right. with God. What do you tell this man to do? He's the man who's kept, he's kept his, his um, kingdom at peace. He's killed thieves yeah. and murderers. There's peace in the land. Yeah. Now what are you tell him to do now he's converted? Oh, I tell him that, well, essentially, you have to keep doing what he's doing because if you try to follow the Bible, you can stand the chance. Right, so he must, dis he, he as a Christian, must go uh, be a, an apostate. Decide what he's going to do because well, now you can't say that to me because well, after all you said to him he must disregard the Bible. Hmm? You said he must disregard the Bible. No, no, I said he should do what he what he's going to do. But if he says if he's truly a Christian, yeah, you'd say a Christian who doesn't follow the Bible is an apostate, right? Okay. So if he follows the Bible as a Christian king, his kingdom is going to go to ruin. If he actually doesn't allow his kingdom to go to the ruin, he becomes an apostate because he has to disregard the Bible. Okay, yeah. So you've put him in a bind. He can't win. His, either his kingdom goes to ruin and he retains his status as a Christian, 
or his kingdom remains in good order, but he's an apostate. Yeah, but the problem is, is that going by what's in the Bible, if you don't have a covenant with God, your kingdom is going to be ruined anyway. Nobody will have a, king, a covenant with God because these men are converted by other Christians who missionaries who come along. This is the, the this is the New Testament age. Yeah, you know, you don't get covenants with God. 